boat after Crick and everything is peaceful and calm not as it was last weekend. Oh man alive <laughs> it was fantastic absolutely brilliant to see everybody who came to see us and experience the weekend away but wow was it hectic <laughs> was it busy. It was lovely I mean lovely to see um, other people that we've met in the past old friends and put faces to names that we see on messages and we don't know who yeah. people are. So Absolutely really amazing. lovely, but it was, and also staying in hotels, you know, if you've been watching us for a while, but we're not good we don't do hotels. in houses, let alone hotels. <laughs> so it is so lovely to that be back. first hotel we stayed in, the man alive, the room was so hot, wasn't it, that <laughs> night? The air conditioning wasn't yeah. pumping out cool air enough. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we survived just yeah. about. And it was worth it. It was worth it to see everybody. So, And also, we came back with a few goodies, didn't we? We did come back with a few goodies. But um, the first night, uh, the Saturday night, we were just washed out, weren't we? After yeah. the first day was really so busy. Uh, we just sat in bed <laughs> with the television on, which is unlike us, watching Gogglebox, of all things. <laughs> so we were watching a bunch of celebrities we don't know. At never the... heard of <laughs> watching programs we've never seen or ever heard of so. it was perfect though because we just needed to go into neutral didn't into, we yeah. and and that's exactly what we did but it's great seeing everybody uh what did we learn from crick boat show this uh, last weekend i'm not as big as i actually look <laughs> on television fran's taller than she looks on television yep uh we don't put out enough videos oh, we need no, that. We, we need to do more foraging. Yeah. I need to do more cooking, apparently. Because apparently I'm a really good cook, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> no, she's, you're a brilliant cook. You really are. Really good cook. But it was all good fun. And we had such a laugh with everybody that came on the stand. And thanks to Haven Knox Johnson Insurance for putting up with us for a few days. Yeah, and it was great to have a base that people knew where we were rather than wandering around the show looking for us. They knew we were at that stand and we did take over the stand a little bit, didn't we? Oh, so we did. thank you, Haven Lux Johnson, but yeah. We were so busy that we couldn't get to see everything we wanted to see. In fact, we got to see hardly anything. No. Uh, every time we went down to see the boats, uh, we got inundated with people who wanted to chat and we were quite happy to chat, to be honest. And so we only got to see uh, two boats um, and a wide beam. Having said that, it's, it's never been um, an interest to us to look around other boats really and that's not because we don't care, but it just we're happy with what we've got and what's the point of looking around at how other things are when you're uh, happy yeah, with what you've got? Absolutely. So um, I'm sure they're all beautiful and we've looked at some of the videos but yeah we just didn't get the time did we? Well we did have a look around the Elton Moss uh, boat the makers of this boat so we had a look around their latest uh, boat so we thought you might like to have a look too Coming in our new boat. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. New home. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are aboard Elton Moss's brand new boat, number 121, and it's called Oki here at the Creek Boat Show. What do you think, Fran? Well, we just couldn't resist. It's our boat is now two years old, and um, we just thought we'd see what's happened in between our boat and the new boat, and uh, have a little look at it, and it's lovely. Yeah, really it cool is. space. You're completely different layout to ours. 
So we come in straight into the kitchen and this is coming into the saloon with loads of seating. Um, but it's just a different feel, isn't it? Yeah, it's still as cosy though, isn't it? And the smell of all the lovely wood. <laughs> and the, and the, it's just gorgeous. So I love the idea of this. don't quite know how it works, but this is your table, which obviously folds away and just comes out. Whereas we've got the dinette, which is in fixed position, which suits us. What a great idea. It just gives you all this space, doesn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. I feel like I'm trying to sell the boat and I'm not. It's just... It just feels good. It feels nice. It's spacious. So we walk through the galley into the bathroom. And this is not a walkthrough bathroom like ours, but uh, separate. And uh, it's still as spacious. Do you remember this time last year when our boat was uh, on display? It was uh, uh, mad, wasn't it? We've just had a chat with the new owners who've been waiting to get onto their boat and watching all these people walking through their boat every day and uh, sympathise with them. But they're really pleased with it as well. And when we had our boat built, we did have the option to have all these cupboards over the bed. And we wondered whether it would close it in a little bit much and chose not to. But looking at it, we quite like them. So. We have had a word with Artie from Elton Moss and we maybe come back and get them put in at Have it retrofitted, yeah. We don't know yet, I'm not sure. I've got to see if you can sit up under here and read my book properly. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So nice big spacious layout, Fran. It, again, it just depends what people want and it fills up, there's so much room and I'd have great fun with my weaving loom here, but for us, we need a Jeanette out all the time because we work so often at it, but this is wonderful and look at this. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice touch in it, really nice, <laughs> nice touch. Put the sun in your eyes, just do that. So, um, uh, should we go yeah. and put a deposit down? No, still keep Laura amazing, she's our boat and it's lovely. Um, things change. Two years on, there's a few more little bits and pieces that the boat builders have built new, and it's great. But listening to that electric engine, that is amazing. Well, to be sat on the back or yeah. stood at the back driving when you can't hear, virtually almost can't hear the motor going, it's a, a, a delight. But it must uh, be lovely. Anyway, let's, let's go home. Get going, get home, and get back to Laura Amazing. The only other narrow boat we viewed was the beautiful Oakham's boat Morning Star, built for our friends Paul and Anthony from YouTube channel Narrowboat Life Unlocked. Check out their channel for future updates. This lovely rhubarb plant was given to us on the stand by Phil, Roz, uh, Stephen and Jess weren't there. I don't know if they're children or dogs. <laughs> this lovely rhubarb. This lovely rhubarb plant was brought to us on the stand by Phil and Roz, uh, Stephen and Jess. I'm not sure if Stephen and Jess were there, but I know Phil and Roz was. Uh, so thanks very much. That is such a great gift. It's uh, really thoughtful, isn't it? Because yeah. of you know who who takes somebody rhubarb as a present, and it's your favourite thing, isn't it? it? Is, uh, one of my <laughs> favourite foods next to beans on toast is rhubarb crumble. And so, fortunately, Fran knows how to cook it. Yeah. <laughs> So cheers guys, really appreciate that. And the other present we got is this. This is also from a Phil at, uh, what's his company called? Glass Roots in Cornwall. Now this is so beautiful. You can't probably see it. I'll show you some footage of it. It's a lovely depiction of a canal scene with a narrowboat there heading glass. And I stopped by the stand and had a look and uh, they're viewers of ours. Uh, fortunately but they're <laughs> viewers of ours and they really appreciate what we do and the next thing i know they've given this to me as a gift we were, we were thinking of buying one anyway yeah. but they, they because they appreciate the videos they've just given us that to say thank you so we just need to find somewhere really safe for it now we'd love it to be in a window but on yeah, a boat that's not going to happen no, no. Um, so we think it's going to go up against yeah. a white wall and get secured at the bottom so it doesn't think, swing. Fortunately, our walls are white on the side, so that would look great. 
Yeah. It's lovely. Somewhere. We bought a coal scuttle off of a lovely girl called Maisie. And, and she paints these. But she also has got a really lovely story that I'm not going to go into now of her, how she set up her business and turned disaster, in a way, back into something fantastic. So Look we bought that. ourselves this. It now means I've got to clean the fireplace yeah. all up because... Comes with shovel as well. Beautiful, so beautiful I bought a thing. handmade teddy bear for the granddaughter and we bought all sorts of stuff. So it was um, a very fruitful visit and a bottle of wine. Oh yes, we've got a bottle of wine. Sorry, you've forgotten your name, but uh, really appreciated that was. So all in all, great visit, great show. Where we... Oh, something. That's a that's reminder my, for something. That's my alarm, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it's for. It's you for can Wordle. guess. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually sad enough that we have an alarm to do the Wordle quiz on uh, our phone every morning. <laughs> because we're of an age now. But anyway, yeah, quick boat show. Are we going to go again? Who knows? When we left the other day, we said never again, but never say never. We weren't going to go this year, to be fair, because we just felt that we really didn't need anything. But it is a lovely chance to see everybody. Yeah, so it is. who knows? And thanks for Haven Knox Johnson for putting up with us. For a few days, uh, it was excellent and a great team to work with, yeah. so cheers. So we're on a walk to get some eggs. We're really lucky because there are two places uh, within a good walk that um, have their own free range eggs so they're not always there we have to have quite a long walk and then we might be disappointed but it's a good excuse for a walk though isn't it it is it's a lovely walk and so it's a, a farm what is it about two miles away do you think something yeah, like I that think so. two and a half miles away and not only do they sell eggs but they, <laughs> they sell chocolate bars so even fridge. if we don't get eggs, we can get chocolate bars. Yeah. It's there, it's on the Pennine Way, so it's there for walkers. Yeah, so we've got to go down the Pennine Way for a mile or so. And uh, it's beautiful as well, though, isn't it? So that's a it's bonus a lovely, as well. a lovely walk anyway. And it's finally got warm. It's about 14 degrees today, and I'm absolutely sweltering in this. So this might come off in a minute. And the sun's trying to burst through. <laughs> Listen to her. <laughs> sun's trying to burst through. We had heavy, heavy rain last night. But uh, I think spring has sprung finally. There's a smell that I recognise from this time of year. It hits you really hard. I've got very strong memories of this time of year. And it's the hawthorn blossom. And we can't see it, but I keep smelling it. Yeah. So somewhere around it, it's just a lovely, lovely spring smell. Cool. Right, let's go. Let's, let's find eggs some and eggs chocolate. and chocolate or chocolate <laughs> eggs, one or the other. <laughs> Ooh, last time. We reported about little Jess being slow. Well, she's been on medication now for what, three weeks, Fran? Yes, I think so. I guess it's her third week, so. And she's skipping around much better. She's jumping about and leaping on and off the boat much better. Tails up in the air when she's walking, not down. So I think it's working. What do you think, Jess? Come here, come here. Is your medication working? She says, you shut up, you stupid man. nature's orchard here there's so much fruit growing all around us and I've never seen so much of this and it's wild raspberries growing all along the side of the canal down the bank so even if it's strimmed they'll be safe and further along we've seen a whole big bed of currants I don't know if they're red or white we'll have to wait and see and further along still I found wild strawberries um, an apple tree and a gooseberry a cherry <laughs> gooseberry growing along the, the road just in the hedgerow so we're marking all these things out in our minds and um, before we move off cruising in the autumn we'll have to have a massive jam making session I think that cherry we saw further back would be great wouldn't it if we don't get a late frost hopefully it'll yeah. fruit really well in the summer it's covered with flowers but this is all raspberries I can't believe it 
Yum, yum, eh? Yeah. They also sell ice cream at the farm. <laughs> Yet more Canada geese in the making. Pennine Way. The Pennine Way is a 268 mile trek across the north of England, going across the hilly terrain of the Spine of Britain, is what it's known as. It goes from Edale, which is uh, in Derbyshire, all the way up past Hadrian's Wall and just finishes near the Scottish borders. And uh, where we are now, I guess, is about a quarter of the way from Edale on the way northbound. But it's something we've been wanting to do for years and years. I think our time has passed for doing it in one go, so we might be doing it in bits and pieces as the time allows. But if you remember three years ago, I twisted my ankle really badly and sprained it. And it healed, oh, it took a year to heal properly, but lately I've done something to it and I don't know what, and it's really painful again and swelling. So I've had to uh, keep my feet up, rest it, but now it's feeling a lot better. This is a test day today for it going over these hills here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's on the mend and I can do more walking again. But boy, when I did it initially three years ago, somebody said to me in the comments, you'll be wishing you'd broken it. Because I said at the time, thankfully I've not broken it. And I, and I wish now I had broken it because that would have healed a lot better than this has. But anyway, on the mend and back to walking. Brilliant timing again, Rich, isn't it? Yeah. That tractor in the field that you might just be able to hear has just left this field spreading farmyard muck and it stinks. Boy, does it stink. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs are loving it though. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bit of a splatter fest. That's a steep one. Ooh. Stop for a breather. <laughs> Absolutely stunning from up here. Absolutely beautiful. Take a look at this. That was a tough one. I know, and with an audience. Look at that, so cute. They're really interested, the babies are really interested in the dogs. Oh, <laughs> well, here we are for the moment of truth. This is what we've been waiting for. Oh, yes! <laughs> it's just eggs, Fran. It's not just eggs, it's real eggs. With no lions on them and no numbers, just eggs. Happy you go. Da, 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 da. Oh, yes! <laughs> Jelly babies. Harry Bows, Crunchy Kit Kats, 
crisps, pop. And you know what the worst thing is? I've only got a five pound note and there's no change in the pot. <laughs> so we've got to spend five pound. <laughs>